New details tonight. Family and friends celebrated the life of Jose Zayas today. He was killed after a driver tried to pass another car last Wednesday when they struck and killed him. Family members told us Zayas loved riding his bicycle, so for his funeral procession, his friends from the Alabama Wheelman decided to ride out in his honor. Way 31's Alex, Alexis Scott spoke with some of his close friends about what they would like drivers to remember after they lost someone they call family. Alexis. Courageous, outgoing, and spontaneous. Those are just some of the words his friends used to describe Zayas. Now, they want to use his death as a caution to alert drivers and to keep cyclists safe. It was a distracted driver that that causes death, and we want to make people aware that we can share the road safely. Sally Chu is a cyclist with the Alabama Wheelman. She told me the people behind her are all family to Zayas. The nationally known group is always practicing on public streets and believes Zayas was just enjoying his hobby at the time of his death. We use the roads because that gives us more distance. We'll sometimes ride up to 100 miles. On Wednesday, October 9th, Jose Zayas was hit at the intersection of Wall Triana Highway and Boeing Drive. Huntsville police say a driver was trying to speed past and get in front of a slower driver. And his friend and riding mate, Clint Johns, told me he just wants people to remember to share the road. You're trying to go from A to B and they're, they're in the way. Um, we're not in the way. We're there too. Johns knows this is a hard pill to swallow, but knows Zayas would want them to keep on going. He hopes through this tragic event, people will want to learn more about why they ride and what it's all about. We love, we love people. We love family. We have friends, um, and Zayas is a is a big part of that. But for a lasting memory. John says to lead Zayas' funeral procession, it's probably one of the most fulfilling things he can do for his bud. One last ride together. Huntsville police are still investigating what happened, and they are waiting for a toxicology report to come back from the driver who hit Zayas. Now, I have reached out to Huntsville police for an update and to hear more information, and I'm waiting to hear back. For now, reporting in Huntsville, Alexis Scott, Way 31 News. All right, thank you, Alexis. Current jail records show the man who police say hit Zayas, David Duggan, was released last week on a $1,000 bond.